How do you say that, Strides? Like, Sabayi actually put it in chat how to pronounce it. Yeah, he did. But, Sabayi. Sabayi! Oh, Sabayi. I'm gonna. But like June gonna, Seba, aka Nujima. I'm gonna put it in uh in our chat so we all have it. Look up on Game and Watch Man. Ah, uh, Game and Watch Man, Mister Game and Watch. I cannot Mr. time out a monitor. <laughs> Good to know. Mister Game and Watch Man. I don't know who Gale's gonna play. Do like he has a lot of characters. He, can he use has too many characters. Many characters. I think Shulk beats Game Watch. I could see that. Giant Sword. He. With? Yeah. At 40%. I had this funny argument with Nico that I said I think Shulk only has, like, very little losing matchups. Like, very little. What do you say? He like agrees and disagrees. He'll always tell me he thinks Shulk sucks. He's told me why. Like there are some obvious things, like poor frame data, and if you like get used to fighting Shulk, you'll eventually be better. But like, it's just the character still is pretty busted. Some agreements and disagreements. Three, two, one. one of my greatest commentary Go. moments was getting Nico to say that Shulk's top ten on the mic. Oh, that's actually that's. <laughs> You should have put that in, like, added him, bro. <laughs> like, I'm not lying. I get we were alive. Shulk is, Shulk, Shulk is top 10, but, like, a lot of players don't put him in there. He's actually the hardest top 10 character to learn, in my opinion. You can't just pick him up, like, Game & Watch, and all of a sudden, like, you know, do pretty solid. Shulk actually requires you to, like... The hardest? Yeah, I think oh, it's... I think, I think it's... Lucina? I think it's the hardest. No, Lucina is. I, I think Lucina is that hard. In my opinion, in my opinion I, I don't want to tell you guys one thing and you guys are like, well, I've been learning Lucina. It's just, wow, it's like you did my voice so accurately there. I'm sorry, not not. I wasn't meant to, <laughs> I wasn't meant to person in you. That was supposed to be like some random dude, but sorry, as you fly. <laughs> I just think Lucina is a character that's not super technical. Yeah, I, that's what I've had this conversation with Aladdin. He doesn't think Lucina is that technical. You don't need to be that technical. Like, there's like Nair one forward smash stuff, but in reality, you don't really. Need, that's that's all she's got. I think he only lived out because he was in Yeah. 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 You do less. You do a significantly less knockback and shield. Wow. Back air. Yep. Baby. Or throw. That'll do it. Baby <laughs> roll. Whenever Shulk has like smash hard and you have to ledge, just don't do anything. Just yeah. Don't press you... For like, for like a good like two and a half seconds. Uh, yes. Yeah, smash hard lasts like like six seconds, so you're fine. You just just chill there for a minute. Yeah, I think I'm you're better off like actually dropping down. Yep. Go for the re grab at the platform. <laughs> <laughs> Essentially. Yeah, he's doing pretty good. You know, I think he's doing good. I think uh, the way he's playing, Gale can't really abuse his range. Um, yeah, he, he's like I think if you were to do things, oh that's wow, yeah, that's actually scary. Yeah, because side special actually auto snaps a lot now. I feel like it's funny because everyone in speed for like, for the most part. Wants to have their back facing the ledge when they're off stage, so like to the back or something. So then they just get hit by a backslash. And, like, yeah. Die. That's why Nico does it a lot. Like it's it's actually a pretty good powerful play. Uh, that's not gonna be a lot. Yeah, he, pretty good. He could have died actually for while being in Smash Art. Yeah, I think it was pretty safe though because he knew he was just holding it. He wasn't gonna get hit by the, the grounding hitbox of down smash. That's really what he needed to avoid in that scenario. But even if he did get hit by that, like, shield could yeah. come out. Yeah, I can. 
I was gonna say, like, it, the thing is that sometimes Gale, when he does his aerials, he does them way too high on the ground. Like, he full hopped, and then he would have probably been there, but he didn't get them there, and then he landed before the air came out. So, the thing about Shulk is when you do go for your aerials, you have to time them with each different hop accordingly. You, If you're gonna full hop Nair, you have to fast fall it. If you're gonna just go for, like, a regular jump Nair, then you have to be at a certain position. Like, yeah, it's basically all about timing and spacing. That's what makes Shulk so difficult. It's like, you can't just throw it out. You kind of have to get used to, like, Okay, if I'm gonna, and if you wanna throw out an air at times, it's because, especially from the ledge, it's because you're gonna come in with another aerial and your opponent gets set into a tech situation, or if you wanna combo an air into something, you would face your opponent so that you can hit him with something like back air or up tilt, or other various moves. It all depends. I mean, there's a few combos that I do know off the top of my head with Hulk, but just not a lot of them are that I know for sure. Yeah, I was gonna say, I think Gao should be opting it okay, just because, um, while he doesn't have as much range as Shulk, Pit still has, like, a bit of a disjoint with things like forward air, his neutral air, while it doesn't auto cancel. It auto cancels, actually, I'm sorry. Oh, damn. Well, he's also a little bit faster, too, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if this is gonna work. I'm curious to see if those orbiters are gonna come into play. Mm, I feel like they're only good if he's off stage when he gets hit by back or something. Yeah, he's trying to use it to land and potentially affect me up there, but I think Seba, he is just waiting. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Orbiters didn't even come into play. It clips the legs and mm -hmm. it just completely nullified. That's what I was gonna say. Like the thing about orbiters for pit in this matchup, they're not gonna be that useful just because up air, if it hits, if it hits directly below pit, if it hits the foot, yeah, he'll get hit. So it's only really worth if he's like gonna be hit by a back air or an air. This could have been oh, okay. I like it, but he got hit right back to the ledge. Really tough spot. Reminds me of Meister. Maybe it is Meister, you just. Change his tactics. No, he's not, having, he's not doing the same approaches as Meister. Oh. This is Gopher. You never know. At least the, the combos in my new charts. Yeah, yeah not, I mean, I'm pretty not, sure like every game wants to study Meister. Yeah, yeah, obviously. Yeah, look at. But just from the way that Meister typically approaches, um, it's got a different style. Oh, that was good. He was able to cross up with an after there. Double forward air. Who oh, could have gone for a third one if he had just fast walled a little bit? Would have connected. Oh, the run up grab to up up air. Very nice. Yeah. Hopefully, you can use that grab a little bit more. Just because it's a little bit faster on the ground. Oh, nice, nice deep forward. That was good. Yeah. Game watch is super light. I think other character might have been Yeah. Just uh, how good that was, it was like already going to be powerful, especially with Rage. At the same oh. time, like, Sebae committed to the, to the bucket, so it was going to be like a few frames where Sebae was just stuck. So it's yeah. a good call for Gao in general. Just such a Gao too, he is moving around. Like, he's not moving to get a hit, he's moving to actually like find an opportunity to get, catch Sebae off guard, and he's did really good. He's got 62% for it too, as well. Hey, but look like, at he's like, landing, continues to throw out forward air, and then even, like, throwing out Nair, stalling into the air, uh, making sure that whatever, wherever he's landing, Gayo is gonna have some type of projectile coming at him, so Sebae's covered. Oh, Ooh. no! This sucks. <laughs> That like was actually guaranteed and he fell out. I'm pretty sure that's not sure if he Yeah, it would have killed. It actually would have killed. Game of Watch is top three like character. At that percent he would have died, but hey, we should already be on our way to game three, but So how mad do you think Gale's gonna be if he I'd be I'd be upset man, I'm like you kidding me? I think that's up to Gao to decide of how aggressive and how like yeah. passive he's gonna play. Yeah, fourth row is obviously gonna be the kill option there. Especially at the ledge, especially with Game of Watch, especially you, like, at the situation. Yeah, yep. Seba he was like mashing short out Nair because the last hit of Nair combos into itself. And then once you get hit by two Nairs, then he gets to use Up B 
to up there, you already know. Yeah. yeah, and then here comes the landing traps. So you land with key, do you land with forward air? Am I drifting back? Am I trying to take center stage? That's when the mini game comes into play. Yeah. The mini game of trying to land versus Game of Watch is a billion hitboxes. Yeah, we actually saw a pretty good counter pick earlier in the night with uh, Rain. He counter picked a K, K rule um, just so that he could abuse the armor and land. Yeah. Took a game with it. I mean, he wasn't able to take the, the set, but it was still. That was an entertaining set. It was an interesting pick that I think threw us off for Yeah, I don't think we're going to see another K character for a while. Man, don't break my heart, Strides. <laughs> well, the Dark Pit worked out pretty well. Yeah, I feel like out of all the map, I think it's probably the best character you can go for in this matchup, for sure. I like that Nair to back there. Oh, okay, I'm getting lost. Yep. I mean, that's, that's the vortex right there. It's like, alright, what's it gonna be? Am I dragging down Nair? Am I throwing up a forward air for a trap? Oh, great drag down. Reset on the platform. I like it. Down throw back there. Uh, one thing though that Seven has to avoid is falling too ridiculously with uh, down air because Gale's punch to him. Oh, yeah. I mean, that might just be the, like uh, the, the panic option from, from Game of Watch because uh, early in the night, Sebae seemed pretty composed in mixing up the landing options. A lot of times I feel old. A lot of times though, I feel like Game of Watch players are like. Not even trying to hit you with down air, they're just trying to get up to the front. <laughs> yeah, I think that's not the case, but because down air has like pretty decent hitbox. Pretty yeah, decent. The, the earthquake hitbox really catches a lot of players off. Exactly. And especially when you're trying to juggle him and watch, it makes it difficult because of down air. I think it's kind of interesting that like, Gale plays this character because, like, plays Shulk. Sonic, Hero, and then you have Dark Pit. <laughs> it's, well, it's actually funny too because he started off really strong as a Dark Pit in 4, and then he started using Bayonetta. Henceforth, he got his tag from that. I, I'm sure a lot of a lot of people went that route of plays X character that wasn't too good into Bayo in 4. <laughs> Yeah. Well, Zach played uh, Peach. Peach was yeah. pretty good in four. Not like top two. It's hard though. And then now in this game, Peach is definitely a top two. Oh no, tech. Yeah, a lot of people miss techs on multi hits like that. It's not like surprising that he missed that. But uh, yeah, it's pretty early there, unfortunately for him. Yeah, Gale's gonna have to put in some work and okay, bringing out the bucket, absorbing the, the arrow. That was good, that was good. Big down smash. Good timing to catch the move I like to like slightly charge my down smash to catch that, but you like timed it perfectly to be like yeah, yeah, I, I think it was really just reaction oh. to the animation that Game of Watch was standing up because it was if it was just a neutral getup, it would have hit in front of him if Sebae had rolled, he would have gotten hit by the back hit. That was just good position. Was Gayo. Playing so well. Oh, okay, didn't fall out this time, didn't kill though. Yeah, 113. Maybe Dark Pit doesn't suck. He has to be careful though, he has to be, he's at death percent. Oh no. Okay. Yeah, he's... High ceiling though, high ceiling, he's coming in yeah. close for Gayo. But oh, the chair, no. give him the chair. Bro. The high ceiling saved uh, Sibir, Sibir, whatever, Game & Watch player. Mr. Game & Watch man. <laughs> that Game smash, Watch man, that Sibir. That smash should have killed on any other stage, I think. But, damn. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Pretty sure Gao actually plays like 10 characters. He does. Yeah. Sonic also beats Game & Watch, in my opinion. But... I, I just feel like it's so much harder to do though. You still have to you still have to deal with like na approaching nares and then 
that approaching Nair from game wise is going to beat up majority of your options. Yeah, I just Sounds think hard. Sonic just never has to approach game one. Oh, well, that's that's one way to, to approach the game. Yeah. You literally just don't fight him. <laughs> that's it. Well, he's staying in Dark Pit. His Dark Pit was definitely me in my last game. Just unfortunately, an up smash combo didn't kill. Up smash didn't kill. Um, was it the getting, losing an early stock to the state spike? It's interesting to see his dark pit in comparison to Kira 5 2 5 2. Like the only other dark pit I've ever seen in this game. <laughs> yeah, same. Uh, he didn't roll in like a noob. Yeah, definitely for the roll. The hypnotic smash. Get pulled right into it. Okay, that's honestly like the best way that interaction is on for Gale. Is not getting grounded and then getting sent right back on stage. And as you can see, it led to him taking the stock. The spade is going to have to work a little bit harder to get it back. Yeah, Gale is like... Facing the tree, Nair so uh, so they tries to jump in with the Nair of his own and soon get cut up. And I think he has follow up to live this from the Nair. He does, he does. He does. He does. like a couple Nairs into a forward air or even like a drag down. Drag down really uh, it's not a huge dish on like so, but it's still good enough, I think. That's how bad game watch his range is. I think just having the multi hit is going to allow him to, to combat. Uh, the projectile in there that a game watch has. Okay, how are we gonna recover? Nice, 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 nice. Uh oh. Very, very careful, yeah. Very close to dying. And he's doing the predictable landing there, a game watch, because it's in the bad spot. Okay, not rolling this time, but Nair is gonna send some bay off stage again. Oh, oh good back air, yeah. That was actually maximum range too. Um, that was really good space. Uh, and so, thought, so they had stalled himself a little bit too much. If you thought Gayo's pit was moving in game three, definitely moving in game four. Yeah. Mixing up his recovery too is like typically. Think about the like last few times that. Gayo's had to recover back to the stage. They've really been going with side beat. Now he's throwing in directional air dodge as a ledge. Yeah. Yeah. It's interesting because a lot of pits don't. They just recover in a very linear way most of the time. But, uh, show that he can mix it up anymore. Well. That job did way too much. Dude, it does ridiculous percent. It's really hard to get out of it. I've never gotten out of it. This is get chopped up. <laughs> okay. nice. nice. I like the guarding order. It made him uh, avoid all the factors. Pressure off stage. I talked about it earlier too. Like that's what it's going to be used for. Is to avoid things like back air. Occasionally things like up air. All depends how Sabay gets there. Wow. No, not yet. 124. Dude, Even on the what? third lightest character in the game. Are you kidding me? Yeah, uh, supreme DI right there. Yeah, I, I guess. That should kill him. Yeah. yeah, that'll kill. Oh my gosh. Dark Pit. Yeah. So Dark Pit looks this is supposed to be the, the best character from Gayo. Yeah. He is a, a Dark Pit or a Pit main. I actually think Dark Pit is so cool, but I can't play him because he's. He's just, he's not, he's not that good. But Gale makes him look good. And sometimes Kira Flex. Once in a while I tell people like, oh, Kira Flex isn't that great. And then he wins the tournament and I'm like, okay. And then he like goes out to the next tournament. It's always hot and cold with Kira. I think he got to the finals of that online. Uh... He did, he did. He did got into the finals. Where'd you commentate on that? What? No. Weren't you commentating it? I think it was a different online. What are you talking about? Nintendo tournament? 
I actually think you can. Right. In strides, man. No. Sorry, I don't have clout. Yes, you do. What the heck? I don't have clout. <laughs> yeah, you don't have clout. <laughs> Where is your clout, man? <laughs> strides out here telling me I don't have clout. What do you mean? I don't have clout. We can both not have clout, like, <laughs> 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 one for the other. Oh, Rapid jab, so good! Dude, that was the closest side ever. From Gale. That's very good, Just put up, putting up numbers on Gale. Like, at this point, the, at the chair at the, at the legs would be enough to take a start. Especially with level 1 rage. Yeah, but... Yeah, when I have some rage in his own, so it might help me kill Jamex and security. Oh! Yeah, Jamex says, says you need to be quiet, because you have more clout than me, ZQI, and Jamex combined. He, he, he ain't wrong, bro. He ain't wrong. <laughs> I'm a humble 300 followers. Jamex has like 800... And I know you got like 3,000 or 4,000 with Danny. I'm oh, sorry, uh... Okay. <laughs> 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 that's, that's how it is, bro. I'm starting to notice a trend. Every time we go in on Strides' clout, uh, Sabay's actually breaking up damage, making plays on Gale. Oh, we need to go in on him more then. <laughs> yeah. All right. I don't want Gale to win. I just want to get mad. We're yeah. on game 5, so I've already got that. Bro, can you touch the game watch? Game watch is the hardest character to touch. He actually is, dude. Like, he has the best out of shield that in the game. Surprisingly, uh, Sabe isn't abusing a VI shield that much. Yeah. yeah. Maybe because of the disjointed pitch. I don't think he needs to at the moment. Yeah, not at the Kind of been in his control. Look at that, he went for two frames with the chair. Oh, nice. He popped a little down air. Good for rapid jab. That was good, because he knew he was going to spot dodge. I think that was the one thing Gale was to slowly catch up on. Because he noticed the bay was doing a lot of spot dodging. So, rapid jab is enough to take it out. Drift back in the forehead, connects. Hey, it's time to get oh. back with the trusty key coming in. You gotta know he's gonna go. Oh my. Wow. Can't believe it. Can we do a fresh, fresh side of the That was like 70% though. Dang it. Come on, man. That move looks very strong. I feel like it should be good. You ever been hit by. That is good. Yeah, that one, that one. I'm... But it was across the stage, though. It was, it was, it was across the stage. To be fair. <laughs> Look, it's still across the stage, man. He uses the third line of this character, not the first line. Get it down, so I still right, not right, enough. Explain that one. Huh? Explain that one. All right, man. He... Great, <laughs> fourth row, that's gonna do it. There you go. There you go. The fourth row didn't kill. I was gonna use this golf. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Character, man. Bro. Oh right. no. no. Pit. He's pit the way he is. It, it's fine. He's fine. Not fine. Are you kidding it's me? It's fine. Bro, he's barely mid to oh, That character is high it's tier and you know it. Okay. Wow. Today, oh, is starting to mash some very unsafe stuff. Oh, oh man. Man. Unsafe stuff. Okay, he got back Ooh. to it. Yeah, Ooh. that was a lead trump too. That was Sabay's like, opportunity to go in. Possibly Wait. close up the set. Oh wait, he's up here. Yeah. Oh, that was close. That was close for that was close for Gale because he got punished for going for down air, and then Sabay was able to go for up special. Yeah, I'm waiting for Gale to actually like pressure Sabay at the ledge, uh, oh, no. and then go for either a tomahawk or just like grab at the ledge. For no, what, what he's doing <laughs> is he's doing an excellent he's job of it. he's yeah he's moving around like he knows that what Sabay is oh. looking for, so he goes in for orbitars, counters, oh. and then flies around. This is too close. I'm, I'm this is a booty clencher. Oh! 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 
close. Come on, Gale. Just close it out, buddy. Just close it out. Okay, yeah, I'm looking for the chair. Oh, There's the that chair! Was that, was, that was good. He crossed them up. He crossed them up. He crossed them up. Oh, Gale, 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 please. Gale, please. Gale, oh, Gale, Gale, He caught no. the legs from the orbiters! That's the downfall of orbiters. You can go for the legs. Always go for the legs. Pitt's got some weak ankles.